part of what I want to do uh, tonight is some basics. And in doing the basics, we dissect one aspect or a couple aspects of um, Excel. And it kind of lends itself because as we get into the one aspect, we find that uh, other people have other experiences they can contribute or there's more to it than just a simple look-see. Uh, part of it involves some data cleaning up. When you get data that you have to work with, it can come from any source. Mostly, however, it does come from online sources. It may or may not be a comma-separated uh, text value or uh, 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 data, comma-separated data, or it may be uh, a spreadsheet, might be actually be a spreadsheet. Or it may not be. You may just be some web page you're trying to get some data off of, and then you try to do something in, in Excel or any spreadsheet, and it blows up on you because the data just is not cleaned up. And there's big bucks out there to be made with data cleaning. Uh, scrubbing data is 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 not that simple. It's it's quite involved. So tonight I'm going to do some uh, exaggerated forms of data cleaning up. You know, this emanated from one of our club members who had a problem trying to sort some data, and you could not see where the data was not consistent. So here we go, guys. This um, this is from my agenda, and this is some sample data. Could have come from, well, this is a Word document, so it could have come from Word. It could have come from something on the internet and um, it just doesn't line up. I don't know what's what. I, my numbers are all zigzag and everything. Just doesn't look right. And um, in Word, if I click on the hidden symbol, the paragraph symbol, the hidden symbols will show and the little dots mean that these raised dots are spaces. And the arrow means that this is a tab. So the attempt was to make this tab separated, which is essentially the same thing as comma separated. But uh, unintended consequences may be these raised spaces. So my data is not the way I want it, and not the way I'm going to be able to work on it in Excel. So if we are in Excel, when you, um, can you see my spreadsheet? Yes, I'm looking at my secondary screen. You should be able to see my Excel yes. spreadsheet. Goals. Our goals, yeah. Our goals mm -hmm. are, to, you know, basically you get data, you need to um, clean it up. And that may involve aligning the data, getting rid of extraneous spaces, checking out numbers that are not numbers. Now, I only really gave one example, but in the past, we've had many other cases where numbers appear to be numbers, but they're just not numbers. Uh, you know, dates can appear and dates are sometimes text, sometimes they're numbers, depending on you know how they were entered in. And it's not just a matter of, of the way it looks, but what is actually in that cell, but you can see that the last number is not a number, or maybe you can't see it. My eyes are starting to present some problems, and sometimes you don't see these things. I see a 200, zero, zero, but that's not 200. Zero, zero. So we have our work cut out for us when we're looking at data that we think are numbers that may or may not be numbers. Um, we're looking for misspellings. Now, misspellings would be you know you know major misspellings but also we have an issue uh in the linux world i guess it maybe might even be the real world where we have to sometimes deal with case the question is is water with lowercase w the same as water with an uppercase w uh, we have talked about that in the linux workshop and I will tell you that most of the Excel functions in general ignore case. 
there are there are some exceptions to that and i did run into an exception accidentally but for the most part you can do comparisons you can do uh filters uh you can do a, a lot of things that involve case insensitivity rather than case sensitivity now there may be a case where you do in fact have to consider that these are different. Uh, in this example, if I were to you know, group this by water, it would ignore the lowercase versus the uppercase. The big, big thing in this particular data is the alignment and the spaces. There may be some malformed emails now Andy Kerrigan in uh, our workshops of past has provided a humongous formula. And I mean, literally, I mean a formula or a, or a function, a series of functions that detected whether the email was formed correctly or incorrectly. Simple things like spaces, it picked up spaces. If you put two at symbols or if you put no at symbols in the email, um, I would have to go find that in, in my uh, in my notes and you know post that. It's not something you just do off the cuff. It, it, it's about uh, uh, about fifty to seventy five characters long. That that formula Andy Carrington provided. There may be some unintended duplicate rows uh, in this particular example. I don't have any duplicate rows, but sometimes the data is duplicated unintentionally and uh, you want to eliminate them. Tonight, I do not have any uh, duplicate rows on purpose. I wanted to basically, co basically concentrate on the spaces and the data itself. And as I mentioned, there might be some intended, uh, intended case insensitivity, or as I say, Excel is going to ignore for the most part, it's going to ignore the fact this is a capital W versus a lowercase w. So this is the data that we're working with. And as I pointed out, um, the data, when you view it in Word, you can see the raised dots, which indicate spaces. And the tab is indicated by a, an hey, arrow. Fred, yes. It looks like there are both spaces and dots there. And it seems to me that it is no, likely... no, no. Are you talking in front of the arrow and, and below, beyond the arrow? That's no. that's one possibility. No, that that that, that is not. That is the way it, um, this arrow and the spaces are included all in that whatever that symbol is. Uh, the tab, yeah, the tab the arrow. Say again. The that's amount the of... tab arrow. Yeah, it's a tab. It's a tab it's arrow. Tab. Yeah. yeah. So that it, spaces both sides. The yeah. amount of space around the arrow seems to differ between lines. It, it, it is it is different, but it, it represents a tab. But the raised dots are the only things that indicate spaces. Okay. It's because the, the data here in a spreadsheet, it, if you were to copy and paste it elsewhere, is tab delimited. So uh, you know, copying the data as I did in Word. It just indicates that that's that's how it's represented so, in Word. My experience when I pasted it from the web was that it had both spaces and non-breaking spaces, which are different characters. Uh, we have dealt with that in in the past. That we have dealt with different kinds of characters. I think it's ASCII two hundred and forty, if I'm not mistaken, or it's not an ASCII character maybe. at all. It's a C two A zero. It's a, a control character. It's a, it's a UTF multi-byte character, so it's not ASCII. It's not ASCII. Um, you will have to. Can you show us it, it, at some time in the future exactly the the character you're referring to? Sure. The data you're referring to, not now, but okay. But but I appreciate you know. I I, I feel that we have to do a, a look see in order to um, understand it. But 
the, the spaces in front of in front and behind the uh, the arrow are just they're there from okay. from word, but they are not they're not spaces. Okay. If and there's, you're if not, there are spaces, uh, there are spaces. I have no way of verifying that. I don't have a handy copy of Word. Uh, LibreOffice uh, Libre does not show this, I guess. Yeah, yeah, it, it can, actually. But but I have no, no way of knowing where your data came from as whether those are real spaces or non-breaking spaces. Right. If you typed in spaces and, and saved them, then they're obviously spaces. Well, no, the only spaces are the raised dots. These are the only spaces. And then the raised dots in front of fighting. There's two spaces in front of fighting. So we look over here at this data. There are spaces in front of M-A-N-K-E, Mankey. So there are mm -hmm. spaces here. The tab is represented by the arrow. And then we have two spaces in front of fighting. But there are, there are no spaces, no non whatever spaces in front of that arrow or behind that arrow it is represented by word or by the spread spreadsheet. Yeah, but the data does not have any extra spaces. Fred on the next line, polyrath, there's no space after, and the arrow is right there. There's not a gap between like there is on man key. I know. I see that. Yep. Okay. So something that apparently Ward is doing funny with alignment because the arrows are not aligned to each other. No. And yet the, and yet the visual spacing appears to be different. It may have something to do with Mankey. There's four spaces in front and there's six spaces in front of Polyrath. Okay. But then there's only four spaces in front of Victory Bell. Yeah, I, I would I wouldn't get yeah. folk I wouldn't get focused on the alignment in Word, guys. Okay. I really wouldn't. I think I think the the point is that there are raised spaces in my data, and there are the, the arrow simply represents a tab separation, and that means they are in each column. When you when you take tab separated or comma separated data and paste it into Excel, it would go into each individual uh cell so i would have three columns as i do here one two three that's all that this is representing um, i wouldn't get hung up on how many uh you know what the spaces in front of the arrow or behind the arrow that that's kind of something to ignore unless you don't want to ignore them <laughs> <laughs> all righty um now so how do we clean this up Okay. You know my answer. ASAP. <laughs> ASAP. 20 seconds. I had it cleaned up. Yeah, I, I know. I know. Okay. I'm not I'm not gonna dispute that with you. Okay, now um well I thought I thought you might say because weren't you Mike one of the people who showed how to use control E? Uh, well, uh, John, flash, John, John, flash John, John, that's great. That thing that is, is terrific, incredible, but yes. I didn't use that on this. John and 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 uh, uh, Mike, we're, we're going to do that tonight. We're going to do some magic. We're going to impress uh, some people here who are, are not Microsoft users. Let's take a look at a function tonight. And the function I'm going to use is the function trim. And as an example, I'm just going to start over here. And I'm going to do equals trim. Let me get my hands on the right keys here. Oh, I, I do something that I have to undo, which is I change the color of white on white. So uh, that was not supposed to be there. All right. So. You got that across columns D through I. All right, so it already it already did something that I <laughs> didn't want it to do. It it did it did the magic. I didn't want it to do that. Let me let me just come all the way 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 over here just for the sake of an example. Equals trim. Can't type. One equal. Still works with plus, I think, Fred. Okay, now if I click on the cell that has the data over there, 
Okay, essentially, it took out the spaces, and how do I know that? Well, I could do a, a length comparison. Uh, if I do equals len and check the number of characters and come all the way over here, and I see that I have 10 characters, and if I do something for the one that I just used a single trim for, You want length, don't you? Uh, let me let me let me do something here. Let me let me first of all copy this down. Okay, so. I, I did a trim, and what it did, it took off the spaces. A, a trim takes off spaces leading up to the beginning of the text, and after the text, if I have multiple words, it removes all but one space between words. Um, but why didn't it, when I did a trim of, uh, uh, when I did a lead, a lead. Che Fred, check what's in Q. Two, I think you had a typo. Yeah, I'm, I'm having all kinds of problems with my keyboard here typing. John, this is. I Where it says 10, take a look at what's in that cell. In the next cell. That's not the cell I want to do. Okay, what I wanted, what I wanted to do is if I compare this, this is A2, uh, A2 all the way over at the beginning. And it was 10 characters. 10, yeah, the four extra spaces. There, there you go. Okay, so man key. I mean... Mankey has 10 characters, but when I do a trim, it only has six characters. So, you know, what you could do is you could trim every cell here, every um, cell, both in this first column and the second column, and then redo the whole spreadsheet again. Well, it turns out that you can actually do a trim for a range. This was something I discovered. Instead of doing trim for a single cell, you can do a trim for an entire range. And in that case, I'm doing trim A2, which is the top left-hand corner of my data, to C21, which is the lower right of my data. And if I do that, and I put white on white so you can't see it and change it to black, you do, in fact, get cleaned up. Get it all cleaned up. So that was something that I found uh, very useful with this trim function. Rather than simply doing cell by cell, column by column, doing a range, A2 to C21, that's where my data is. And what it did, it took out all the spaces Question, comment? We did that in another workshop. Yeah, a range? A wall, a wall, yeah, we did a trim with one of, one of the other workshops, the wall of back. Well, you have a good memory, Bob. I don't remember, ever remember doing it as a range. Yeah. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert. Uh, I have a problem here still with the, um, with the numbers. Now, I, I, I see this two. Oh, oh, and I know it's it's supposed to be 200. So I'm going to just type over that manually. And, and a lot of what we do, uh, that was not good. Okay, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're, before we do that, we're going to do a copy. Paste values. That's right, Mike. We're going to paste the values. 
So it took out the formulas, and now I have data. But if I look at my numbers, they're all lined up on the left, which means here, here again is an example. When, when are your numbers not numbers? Well, if they line up on the left, there's a good chance that got interpreted as text for some reason. So I could, the trim function, I think, probably did that. Um, the trim function might have might have treated them all as text. Yes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at the error. Why don't you just add them up? I can't add them up because this is a. Uh, I know that one's wrong, but the rest should add up if it's still text. Okay, you see this this is a number, but the other is a text. Now here's here's what I did. I'll show you what I did. I'll do it another way. I'm, I'm game. And uh, you know, the way this is going to work, uh, I'm I'm giving some idea of what I'm doing, but I'm going to then turn it loose on you guys because I I sent you the links to the data, and I want you to play with it, see what you come up with. But here's here's what I did. I took a look at the error. First of all, I highlighted the entire column. Took a look at the error for the entire column. And one of the options for that is to convert to numbers. Mm -hmm. So the default was what Trim did, it stored the number as text. So you would not be able to add them up. So if I you can. Convert, say again? You can. And in, in Excel, the new Excel, you can. It, it adds it up as text but it'll give you a, a sum okay that's new to me okay in 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 general though you normally you add yeah. numbers i'm going to convert it to numbers problems. and now i have all numbers and i can do a sum using either the auto sum or where's my keyboard shortcut guy alt equals alt with the one finger and the equal with the other finger. And then hit enter. And, hit and what it does. You got to hit enter too. I know. I'm just showing the formula sum from the top most of the column F2 to F21. We press enter and we get a sum. That's the true sum. That's the true sum. All you right. Now, the 200. Let me go back here. And Bob, let me. Tr what version of Excel you said will add these uh, these these up? Uh, 2016. I sent you the. Uh, I just put in the text where you put sum equal sum Excel underscore text and the column. But it didn't. It did, I don't think it has the 200 in there. The the, the uh, total. I don't think came to what you just had. Well, that then that's not the right answer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want to see. The, I want to. I want to take a look to see what the answer was. All right, all right. okay. I'm going to do all equal at this point. Now it's not picking up anything above that. So let's let's say I I help it out by by summing up the column. Okay, from F2, and no, it only picked up the actual numeric value. All the text it did not pick up. This is 2021. It did not pick up the. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the text. Okay. Questions, comments. I'm trying it now. <laughs> okay. Now you have the data as one of the spreadsheets. Give it a try in whatever you know spreadsheet you're using, and see how you would clean up the data and add them up and give us some feedback of you know what what. First of all, what uh, version of Excel you're using and what things you're doing successfully and what things you're not doing successfully. So um, as soon as anybody has a... Um, well, Fred, I, I did it three different ways in my spreadsheet. And um, I used ASAP first. Got okay, what explain right. briefly to everybody who does not know what AS, ASAP is, please? Um, it's... It's the greatest free utilities for um, Excel that you can ever use. You can donate and pay, and uh, but it has the greatest macros. They're already written for you. And uh, geez, there must be a hundred um, 
functions you can use just by clicking on if it's text do you want to delete all the leading zero uh, you know delete this many uh, um, characters from the front the back then delete all extra um, zero you know uh, spaces front back other than the middle ones you know between the words and it's just so simple to use you don't have to learn trim. You don't have to learn a whole bunch of other stuff. I mean, I do know those functions also, but when I found this place, it's just unbelievable. You want to provide a link, um, Mike, in the chat yeah. for ASAP? Yeah, yeah just and is it is it still free? Just Google, uh, yes. If you're if you're using it for homework, you know, home. If you're a commercials, you're supposed to pay for it. <laughs> I don't use it for commercial work. Um, it's from, um, I think he's from the Netherlands or something. Uh, okay, also, also, the other utility that I, I use, this is for Microsoft Office, is UBIT. Yeah, UBIT too. I don't use that as much because I'm mostly a, a spreadsheet guy. And um, ASAP just, simplifies my life by a thousand percent um it did it, when i took your sample spreadsheet i cleaned it up in less than a minute right um i did use i did you know because i knew you had the phony number in there somewhere i just did equals is number and the column next to it and that was false so you knew that wasn't really a number right so I do know to use those functions at times, but ASAP can clean up your data as quick as you can blink your eye. I agree. No, no arguments, no arguments whatsoever. Now, anybody run into any problems that they need some help with? This is a workshop. So, you know, if you have a problem, this would be the time to speak up or even share your screen. Lewis, how did you make out with it? Any any issues coming back? Yeah, to you? No, no problem. I don't have a problem. Great, just... great, great, great. Okay. Um, anybody else have any positive? What was the, any, what any... Was the total you had there, Fred? What was the total that you got? Uh huh. You have you have to you have to verify <laughs> more more than one way. So let's let's see what we have here. Corrected is 8,005. So what's the data that everybody's starting with? Is I copied the data from the post on groups.io, and I found that it had a whole bunch of non-breaking spaces, and I had to jump through a few hoops to get rid of them. Well, that's why you're here, okay? It's, it sounds like either nobody else is having this these problems or nobody else is acknowledging them no what we what we're doing is you know we're, we're cleaning up the date now uh in what what uh spreadsheet are you using i use LibreOffice. okay does LibreOffice have the trim function i'm sure it does okay so i didn't i didn't bother i tried to clean it up when it when it got imported okay and did it clean it up only when I told it that it needed to clean up other characters than the spaces. Okay, so eventually it did clean it up. Oh, yeah. Oh, but okay. you had to figure that out. Yeah, I had to figure out that the problem was the, that the data had non-breaking spaces in it. Is so that anybody it, else cut and paste the data from the post on yes, I did too. Yeah, I did too. And did you find non-breaking spaces or did Trim just take care of that automatically? Trim, my, uh, well... I use at, uh, ASAPs, get rid of uh, front, back, and extra spaces, and it took care of everything. Mm -hmm. So it, it takes care of both. Now, which one's all 255 on the ASCII thing? Is that the non-breaking or the breaking space? Uh, we, we had a couple characters. Uh, okay, ASCII 32 is, is a space. And I okay, think and ASCII 255 wait, one, is a space. If you add 128 and 32, you get 160. Was it 160? Maybe it was 160. I, I can't I can't remember. Yeah, well, 255 is a space also. Yeah. 
Yeah, there, there are a lot of non-printing characters that ASAP will clean up. And, and some of them are, you know, control characters, too, that can get embedded. Mm. But usually, you know, um, if it's data that somebody put up there, you're not going to run into that kind of thing. Um, well, I, you I may find an occasional space, extra space somewhere. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, so yeah. It could be like this data you gave us with them all over the place. Yeah. Well, well, the one that uh, Dick Barrett posted on the web had a uh, a space that you couldn't see. So this is this is done deliberately to make it obvious, so that you know that you have to look for them. If you're if you're doing data uh, uh, analysis, generally you want to find more than one way to get this total. Now. I mean, the only way that I remember from elementary school is you add going up, you add going down. Uh, it, it's kind of a trivial thing here. But in some right. cases, you have cross checks where you can do your arithmetic more than one way. You can do your analysis more than one way. And if you do that and you're successful, then you you, you have more reliance on your data. Yeah. But this is kind of you know, this is just an example of something that's extreme. And it's it's done on purpose to make you aware of it. That's all. When I was first using DOS 2.0 and stuff, and you know, you had to, um, I had the format command. Well, I changed the format command to format with a 255 character after it. So it looked like format.com, but if you typed in format, you couldn't reformat my hard drive without knowing to put that space in there. Oh, I remember that stuff. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I was. That was one of the first, yeah, yeah, I remember all that stuff. And that was done purposely because there were viruses out there. That, yeah, exactly. That could do that. That's right. Boy, you're aging. I read yourself. PC Magazine all the time then. Mike, you're aging yourself. <laughs> so what I found was that when I pasted, cut and pasted the data from groups.io posting and pasted it into a spreadsheet, it did not even recognize them as separate fields because they weren't separated as spaces. Oh, that's so, what happened to you. So in trimming the them did not have any effect at all or wouldn't have had any effect at all. Uh, you, did you have a choice of how to paste? Because uh, even I, in Excel, if I simply used a straight paste, it let, put them all in one cell. Yep. But, but the second choice in pasting when copied from groups.io put them in separate columns second choice on what Did using excel from microsoft 365 i copied the data out of groups.io first and right. i tried pasting it in but the paste had multiple options of how to paste the first right. one left it in a single cell the second choice mm -hmm. which i forget what it was now split it into multiple cells yeah uh libreoffice is not providing you a choice by default uh, yeah. unless you selected paste special but i don't see anything there that okay if, if i may inter if i may intervene here for a moment there's also when you're getting text from another source you can import that text do you have that functionality in libreoffice because when you do that it goes in Excel, it goes through a wizard. I mean, you import might, that text as a, as in save it as a file first. Oh, well, it has to be a file first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, well no, no, I, actually, there's another function. Okay, if, if in either case, if I import it as a, a file, or if I go from well, Excel, then I have it, to get it into a file, which means that I have to. No, use no, no, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. File. Hang on there. We have another function here, text to columns. It splits sure. a single column of data into multiple columns. Yep. And, and I tried that and, and, and it does it, not it, recognize non-breaking well, spaces by default. Well, first of all, the spaces are not non-breaking spaces. They are spaces, non-breaking spaces. They are non-breaking spaces when you copy and paste from the web page. Uh, I'm, I, I need you to define a non-breaking space. They're not non-breaking spaces. There is non-breaking space. My domain. A non-breaking uh, space. Fred, if you go to your post on groups.io, 
and copy the text from there and paste it into your sheet. You'll find non-breaking spaces. What is what is the ASCII value of those non-breaking spaces? They're not ASCII characters. They're two-byte characters. And and the, in order to the put unique, a non-breaking space, the Unicode space value your... is A zero C or A two C zero. If you are writing HTML, you can place a non-breaking space. It's ampersand NBSP. There are codes that are used by HTML. Yeah, I, I, I know, that, that, I, I know, that's just I know. HTML but the, encoding. There is I, I know, a but the, character UTF-8 value for a non-breaking space. But but the the data that I put up there was was without non-breaking space. They were normal space. I understand, but in order for HTML to not collapse all those spaces away, when you pasted it in, it had to format it with non-breaking spaces. All right, I'm just giving you another means, the way we would clean up data. If you paste this into um, a spreadsheet, into Excel, and then you were to do text to columns, it goes through Fred, a process of text asking columns what columns does not recognize non-breaking spaces as anything special. In particular, it does not recognize them as spaces. Um, I think, you know, Sergey, you're using LibreOffice. Correct. Anybody who does a lot of work with Microsoft Excel is not going to use LibreOffice unless they're doing, uh, unless they're also using it with R or some other data processing thing where they're going to fix things uh, later. And in Microsoft, fact, Microsoft unfortunately did not provide me an option of using Microsoft Office on a Linux platform. Well, yes, you actually can if you go into your browser and go to office.com, you can use it online. Get a free version. And that's free for everybody. Uh, also, if you paste it into Google Sheets, it also does not recognize now does not recognize this as having multiple columns. In so Google Sheets, back back yep. where I started, maybe before you joined, I said, and I had mentioned that I answered somebody who had a problem just like this. That Excel now has a feature: insert from photo that it uses artificial intelligence to figure out where columns are in something that's just a picture in front of your camera or a picture that you saved. So if you take a screenshot of the data from groups.io and you save it somewhere. John, I'm not running Excel, that's not an option. So, right, guys, guys. So the, so, so the point is, people who actually need to use Excel use and pay for it. All right, guys. I like to. I like to move on. I. I think you have to know where the data is coming from. You have to know where the data is going to end up. The data is going to end up in three columns. It is your job. I don't care what program you're using. What what you're running into. Your job is to get it into three columns somehow, some way. Whether you have you saying they're non-breaking non-breaking spaces, uh, you got to work around that somehow. I'm just saying you you know that you want this to be in three columns. I mean, there's no other there's no other reason just for. I mean, if you want to just copy text, you can copy text. But the the objective here obviously is you're going to get it in the three columns. How you do that, you're going to have to work around the issue that you have. Fred, I thought you explicitly, Fred, I thought you explicitly said that this is not strictly an Excel workshop. It, it, it's it, is, it, is, workshop. it is not. It is not. We're learning. We're learning also that if you have uh, one tool that doesn't work, you either use another tool or you find a way or you write your own damn code to parse it. You have you have to be able to parse the data somehow, some way. 
people must be doing it all the time. And, and they, they may be on a Linux platform. Uh, I'm sure they're on a Linux platform to be able to copy the data. But they know that the data has to wind up. How they get it there, that's their job or your job. Uh, it, it's got to be done somehow, some way. I will take a look at uh, LibreOffice. I will take a look at Google Sheets, but I'd like to move on. I'm sure, you know, I would also Google it to find out. Or, you know, I've resorted to AI. I've used Open Chat to clean up data too. Mike has used ASAP Utilities. You don't have access to ASAP Utilities, but if you had to get this data into three columns, it can be done. You just have to find a way, and that could be OpenAI. That's what OpenAI did for me with, um, uh, uh, like, reassuring me that what I did with Dick Barrett's data found that data was inconsistent. If the data is inconsistent, got to make it consistent. But I would like to move on. Quick, can I have a quick second, Fred? You have two seconds. Okay. I have the, my PC help file from PC Magazine. October 27th, 1987, in front ah. of the, the ASCII chart, the IBM ASCII chart, okay? There's three spaces. Number one is uh, decimal zero, and that's a no. Number two is 32, that's a space. Right. And number three is 255, that's a blank. I'll take a picture of this and post it for you guys. <laughs> I don't know which one. It doesn't say non-breaking anywhere, so I don't know which one is the non-breaking one. The the days of ASCII codes and one character characters, one byte characters are long gone. We are in the in the days where encodings allow us to specify any number of characters and they're encoded as multi-byte sequences. Most commonly, the default encoding is UTF-8. Okay. Well, I'm not familiar with any of that, Sergi. I know you are, so thank you. Um, but there is a legal non-breaking space character. Just to let you know, I did exactly the same thing in, in Excel and the exact same thing in Google Sheets. I took from the email that Fred sent and I copied just that monkey fighting down, just those columns. Uh -huh. I put it in Excel. It put it all in one cell. I just did the exact same thing in Google Sheets. It does exactly the same thing. Puts it right. all in one cell. Okay. That's, that's what I'm saying, that it, it's not a LibreOffice only problem. It's a okay. problem of copying and pasting data from the web. When okay. you When you put that data into the text of the message instead of providing an attachment, we start, we worked with different data than you did. Well, I, I I have multiple choices here. I could also send you this data, okay? I, I and you, ha you have a copy of this data. This, is, this should be one of your, okay, this is a comma separated, okay? Mm -hmm. That's a now, if you copy that, data and paste it what do you get you want to you want to do that take take the other data that i said data csv.txt copy and paste that and see what you get i'm sure it'll be fine Do you want me to open as a CSV or do you want me to cut and paste it from an editor? No, I want you, I want you to get it into three columns into a spreadsheet. Yeah, if I import can text and tell it into, to you. Can I can copy that into, uh, go into um, uh, Google Sheets and paste that into Google Sheets with the comma delimited. Yeah. It works just fine. Okay. CSVs are CSVs. They are... Pretty unambiguous. I'm going to move on. 